Hello everyone, welcome back to Survival Challenge. So, I got the last load of mushrooms loaded up for us. It's not to the max price. The max price, a total, will be 67000 or We'd get about sixty-five. My thought is this way we don't gotta worry about it. We don't gotta keep, keep an eye on it or anything. We will also have to spray this. It's need of herbicide now. I've, I've waited too long. I have to try to get some of these fields aligned. That is in the needs. We will also have to try and get that backfield mowed hopefully soon. Basically, we got money back there, you know. Ooh, second pile of eggs. I, I should probably check how, uh, how they're doing. I haven't looked at them a little bit. Sheep are good. Chickens are good. Okay. We still have 9,000 liters of uh, wheat for the chickens. A little bit of wheat we do have. It's not being sold. Uh, that one's just barely holding on. Just barely. This won't get us quite to new land. But I think once we start getting that, like the silage bales, I think we'd, we'd probably hit it from that. Although we may end up waiting a little while for silage. I haven't checked when that's supposed to be high. So. But we still got fields to plant and lime in that time. And spray. I haven't checked if I uh, fertilized the canola field a second time. I believe I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, I forgot to raise this up. I always try to raise it up, but I always forget at the same time, so. Oh. Oh. Uh, we almost dipped. Try, try to get it over the cell point. And we did dip. Oh, to get the trailer tipped over. There we go. Yeah, it's still got all this that wants to wants to sell. But we won't be too far from new land. Still by ten grand, but better than better than what we were. Yeah, new land. Let's see here. So farmland. So this is eighty-five thousand. Because I'm thinking we're gonna probably grab field number twenty-five, and let's take a look at silage. Oh, of course. By the time that we actually have have silage, it'll it'll be at its down. So we'll end up having to sit on it for a little while. But I think. Uh, Soybeans are July, so we probably be able to get ten thousand from that. A little bit of selling in there, so to take a look at how far along some of this stuff is. I still have quite a ways. That's quite a ways. Probably put uh, like a sorghum or soybeans in these. I think I want them a little bit shorter because obviously the bigger field that we made last video that oh I probably buy some herbicide while I'm here that'll probably be combined so I don't want it to be another long crop probably like a soybean so probably be pretty good even though we have it uh, all done by the time that it starts going down again and another case maxim have a second one Let's go herbicide. Not sure which uh, one we bought of liquid fertilizer. I would like it, you know, the, the label to be a little bit different. I I'm thinking it wasn't Helm, though. I just want it to look different. There, we got two herbicide then. Uh, 
We'll just throw these up real quick. Uh, forget the fields limed. I think we'll immediately get the fields limed. Uh, I have to check. Is this good for fertilize? Yes, this portion is good for fertilize. These we won't have to fertilize because we plowed it in last time. So we won't have to fertilize once we seed it. So I'll probably uh, fertilize the barley. So basically be fertilizing the the weeds too. But I'm sure there's a little bit of fertilizer in it. So then we'll uh, get all get all the weeds killed off and then we can start working on the the lime and the planting I'm hoping to get those planted uh, today in this video especially now that I've learned that silage will have a massive drop off we can kind of wait we don't have to do it right away even once it's uh, wrapped up it'll still be like a month or two till it's fer or fermented we can wait a little bit until it starts going back up. A lot more pressing needs. Yeah, I was going to say, um, I know somebody commented saying we can fill the water from the tap, and they believe it was free from the little water tap there. Unless it's because they're too close, it still charges charged me. Uh, maybe I'll... Uh, test it in a separate one. I'll just put this somewhere random and just see if it'll fill it. I'll, I'll have to test to make sure, but I'm pretty sure it still charges you. Oh, Pika should, should do the John Deere since that's kind of in the way. I got the bale wrapper in the corner too. And we'll refill a little bit. That should be enough for this field, and I just... I'm taking a bag of seed with us. The fun part is the sheep field, or sheep pen is right up there, so... Be, be interesting. I always never, uh, never great at seeing where I've fertilized, and it's really hard now. If I wait a little bit too long, it'll be easy to tell where we uh, did herbicide. I, there's no no plant there, random spot with no no nothing planted. Shouldn't take too. Eh, this usually doesn't take too long. Or too much fertilizer. I think we're still a little ways from the sheep reproducing. There's a little bit of wool back there, not much. Which is fine. It's all it's all long term investments. We'll, probably start getting more sheep I don't know if I'll buy any maybe a handful and then we'll you know let them reproduce do their thing so I think it's pens like half full now so I wouldn't take too long as they start going at it I'll probably, since we probably will be a little ways till we start getting land, I might spend some on honey, some bees. But I've decided, oh, I'm going way, way all over the place. I haven't decided where I'm going to put them yet. I almost think, you know, once we get new land, we could put them up there. But at the same time, they can kind of be wherever. You just plant, put the, uh, God, I'm awful at this. 
I probably missed a bunch there, but I'll have to fix it later. You just put the pallet spawn point basically wherever you want. Probably up here somewhere. And that's just where the, the pal of honey will be. So, yeah, we'll probably put maybe a handful around that big field. I'm not sure what the, the width is because it does increase your yield a little bit. Actually, it would help with canola. I'm pretty sure canola is one of the, the crops that it helps with. Man, I'm having a tough time telling the difference of this. It's taken, right? Yeah, it's, it's going. It's full of weeds, too. Yeah, maybe we'll look at that. I have a bunch of mods installed for the honeybees. Because I think a while ago I was planning on doing it, and then we just end up buying different things and just, you know... Couldn't afford it at the time. So. Then we'll just have a lot of sources of income. Quite a few. With the lettuce or tomatoes or strawberries. Maybe we'll change it in the future. We've got the crops, eggs, as well as wool. I've got quite a few. That's this. Oh, I'm actually really good. I'm always amazed that I don't miss that much. Always amazed. Yep, looks good. D didn't use too much. I could have honestly not filled it up anymore. It would have been fine. Try to get off the crop. Ooh, it's helm for the fertilizer as well. Yeah, next time we'll have to buy something different. Now we can unload this. Yeah, X. Whoops. <laughs> Let's unfold. Oh, of course it makes a new one. I guess these are pretty full. Put it up, up top. Oh, this, that one's a different, uh, different brand. Get these done. Can we can refill it from here? Guess not. That should be good. Now this should be much easier to tell the difference, I would hope. See, so does show what the fertilizing is. Yeah, right now it's a hundred percent. Seventy-five on the yield. But that's only because of the weeds. Weeds hurt a lot. So we'll see. This should increase it. In theory, even though we are herbiciding it. I know with spot and spray, you basically use like nothing of this. I'm pretty sure they did an update, actually, to precision farming that would allow you to do it with liquid fertilizer as well it would just spot spray wherever it needs it or something pretty sure I saw that might just be speaking random stuff too <laughs> wouldn't surprise me either way let's see that should up to 80 so really killing the weeds off doesn't help much so yeah that, that's actually kind of a so maybe we should try and get it get to it sooner and get a uh, mechanical weeder because that'll be quite a bit lost because for most part I think this field will probably go straight to the silos for for chickens even though it's barley and we have wheat right now the chickens will still take it Want to do something different. It's a lot easier to tell the difference. Dang. Alright, we just got our last strip here. It looks like we can... 
We're killing it all off. It's like perfect, perfect width. Till right up here. Looks like there's a little bit, little bit wider. All right, turn. Now we got the weeds killed off. It looks like the yield is all the way down to about 80. It's really, we only raced it 5%. Hopefully 5% is a significant margin. Yeah, it might be, might be worth it looking to get a small, well not too small, we got a lot of fields. Weeder, mechanical weeder. Well, let's get uh, basically right to liming. This is always not a lot of fun to do. Cause we we go through a lot of lime. Daniel probably go through all, all of this just right right in here. Partially because it's so wide, too. Probably will use it all on this this little bit. Maybe we should have bought more. We'll go right in here, grab this little bit here. Small little spots I, I try not to worry about too much. We'll probably waste more than anything. Let's try to get two of these up front and then I can just pick pick them up and bring them over to the field. That way we're not constantly going back and forth. I think two would be about, about where the limit is for this. And it, it might be a little bit less, actually. Oh. Hit the wrong button every single time. Yeah, we should be good weight-wise. This down right here. Well, let's just do a uh, time lapse of this. Probably won't be too long. It's fairly fairly wide spreader. So we're probably filling up for the last time here. So we can we use a lot of a lot of lime. I mean, you're only only I think it's only three. You have three harvests is when you lime it. So we, we should be able to make the money back in that time, but just like that, we're done. Yeah, I think I'll probably put soybeans in here. At least for now. I think the canola and the soybeans would be right around the same time for being ready. I would like to get those uh, in around the same time. So Once I expand that field a little bit. You know, I'm starting to feel like I only ever use the case. Just which is true, I really only do. Top speed's a lot faster. So I always use it for driving to the store and back. Good tractor. John Deere is too, though. Close enough to be able to refill. 
seeds. And the fertilizer. Nice. Let's see here. I believe that's soybeans. I believe this is just lower. I'm going to turn it on, right? Yep. I have to... I'll just probably look at some mods for uh, weeders. See if there's... See if there's some really good ones in there. Maybe we'll buy one then. We'll just have to make sure and get to the fields as soon as we can. We need a, a fairly, fairly large one. Well, bigger the better, really, for that. Obviously, it won't be as big as our sprayer is, which is sprayer is, I mean, fairly small for for sprayer standards. So we'll have to, I'll have to take a little, little bit of a look, see. Could take a look what we got now. Anything in the sales? Never, never is. Uh, weeders. I added a couple, I know, I'm pretty sure. Six millimeter. This would probably be ideal nine. 18 grand. Obviously, some of these will, uh, I mean, this would be nice. 15. <laughs> it's, that's the largest one in the game. At least base game. It's also 45 grand. And we got a lot of things I'd like to buy in that time. New land is, is number one. Maybe maybe we'll get lucky and I'll show up in the sales. Yeah, I always get something a little bit smaller for now too. It's gonna be an awkward field to harvest. I have a feeling. It's not like you know very straight. It's uh, yeah, it's a weird shape. It's not square or anything, so it's not up and down. We'll figure it out, though. It's also small enough where it's not going to hurt you too much. Probably won't be like a horrible amount of soybeans from it. There we go. Didn't use too much seed or fertilizer, which is kind of a nice thing about it. You don't use too much. There's a trailer there. Oh no, there's trees there. That's probably what I hit. Be, be a good amount of soybeans. Probably be more than what we have stored. Depends if I can get to it fast enough for the weeder too. Oh, it's probably be about less. That was fully fertilized when we did that one. Well, I think I'll uh, do a quick little time lapse of this. Right, we're just about done here. Just got a little bit to, to clean up. Kind of uh, kind of impressed for how much I got done in this video, actually. I'm 35 minutes in. I almost need to do more. Oh, man. So that's probably... Uh, probably cut the grass, then. Got the time. A lot more time than I thought I would have. 
as I say that, this video will end up being like super long and it'll be all my fault, but yeah. Only 35 in, 36 in on the recording. I can't back this up to save my life. I'll just, I'll have to do that later. <laughs> So I gotta get better at that. Biggest weakness is backing up still. This will be all turned to silage. Honestly, the next couple will probably be all silage. So we'll probably have at least two cuts of silage, I'd say, before it's time to sell. And I'm sure that's probably be for 40,000 per sell, something like that. Quite a bit, I'm sure. But man, we probably I might need debt if uh, weeders cost that much. Should be ready. Yeah, it looks about the same height. Yeah, there we go. This takes like no time. So fast. This is always super fast. It's really nice. It's, a, it's like the best part is this field doesn't take that long to actually do. Yeah, an update. Uh, said a while ago I was starting to work on a, a build a new, new PC. Everything's been bought. Now I'm just waiting on things to arrive. So that'll probably end up being a little while. Uh, the motherboard's on back order, so who knows when that'll be ready. Hopefully not too long. I lucked out on getting the CPU. That was... It, was, it would go in stock for like three minutes at a time. I just happened to luck out those... I finally was able to get it. Oh, yeah. So that's, that should be... I should have that by the time these videos go up, so... Unless uh, the post office decides to do what they did with my one storage. They, they sent it... So I got it, or it came in my post office, arrived at my post office, and then that got sent to a different post office randomly even though it was already here and then it got sent back to mine then it got sent somewhere else and then it finally third time they finally when they got it they finally actually actually delivered it uh, I don't know what was going on there somebody must have made a couple mistakes or something We'll see when that is. So I'm hoping the video should be 1440p once I do that. They'll, they'll probably be rendered in that now. Um, so I learned YouTube puts it in a different codec if it's 1440p at 60fps. They'll probably render it at 1440p for now. <laughs> the different codec's a lot better looking. So... Yeah, you can get it if you get so many views or put it in high enough quality. So if I do that, it won't be much of a difference visually right now. But hopefully afterwards it will be. I mean, visually you probably just won't notice as much of a pixelization when, it's it, when movement should clear some of that up. Well, I'll probably just do a short time lapse to finish to this a little bit up. Not a whole lot left. There we go. Just about finished here. J 
just about. We just got this strip, and I think it's probably a handful that I missed. Oh. Gotta get a little, every little bit. You know, I'm guessing be a couple cuts before we start needing grass for sheep. Uh, because there's quite a bit ready for the sheep. It's level by, I don't know, 20,000 liters worth of grass. Actually, this actually will tell us. We have 69,000. Yeah, unless that counts this that's been cut. I doubt it. I doubt it. Would shouldn't technically know yet. We haven't bailed it up or anything. Yeah, let's get this dropped off. I'll have to kind of decide if I want to get a different baler, what kind of weeder. It's, uh, I doubt the very large weeder would be worth it for that money. It's just a lot of money, you know, it's what, 45000 That's most of our current, current amount. Versus the baler I was wanting, one of these. I get a 240 centimeter bale out of it, and it'll wrap it. They're square bales, too. The reason I didn't get these at the start was because most of the wrappers were all over for round bales. Sales? No. I don't know how much is our worth. Ours is... Ours would cover the cost. Well, I think I might go ahead and buy that right now, then. We might actually gain a little bit. I'll, I'll double check... This should, yeah, shows square bales. Should do the right size as well. We do have a little bit in here already. Let's uh, just quickly fill this up with a little bit of grass, and then I'll then I'll go ahead and sell it. It'll be one one bale, and that one bale I'll probably just put it ready for sheep. That way we're not just giving away 2,000 liters. So this shouldn't take too long to fill up. Yeah, it was already almost 70% full, so. So we're not taking too much from the silage fund. The amount for silage. So it's full. I'll bring it closer to the storage. Probably right next to the sheet pen, honestly. So I'll, I'll just put it right in there. Dang trees are hard to, hard to see where the road goes. Yeah, then we'll sell it. I think once it's uh, brought there and repaired... We should honestly net money from it. Right, yep, unload. You have to put that in the in the barn. Get this old. I'll repair it and sold. Buy fuel, I'll fuel the case while we're here. Yeah, it still shows the condition is bad, but when I repaired it, it didn't. I'm guessing it must be paint. I'll repair this while it's here. Repair this while it's here. Repair the baler and then sell it. Yeah, I don't know. I bet you it's not maxed out now still. 
Oh, now, now it is. Uh, maybe it must have took into factor the... Uh -oh. The forks and everything. Let's go ahead and buy that. Of course, it's on the sales. I buy this one. I think I have the other one on my other series. So, I like to try and mix things up a little bit, even though they're virtually the same thing. I'll oh, fill this up, and uh, I'll, I'll head it on back. Yeah, that's everything for today. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope to see you in a future video. Bye.